Good sunny afternoon everyone, Stephanie Calhoun here just following up on yesterday's video blog about the importance of water and hydration for the human form. So rather than discussing this from an Ayurvedic perspective, today I'm talking about it through a perspective of the fascial system of the body. So what is fascia? Fascia is connective tissue, meaning it's the structure that holds everything in our body together. It wraps around all of your muscles, it wraps around your bones, nerves, blood vessels, arteries, around the brain itself. It is, it is part of the skin structure itself. And this is an, a pervasive tissue that is essentially everywhere in the body. If it weren't for fascia, you wouldn't exist. It is the cell membrane. This is really exciting stuff if you're an anatomy nerd like me. But it should be really exciting for you because what it means is you can do something on a daily basis to impact your fascia on a really powerful and really health promoting way. One is through water. So water, why it's important is fascia or connective tissue is considered to be a dynamic structured water system. So it's a fluid matrix of the body, meaning there are structured water channels that pull through energy, chi as we would call it in a Chinese medicine approach, prana in a yogic approach. So it's going to pull chi, life force, prana, energy through the system. And if we don't have enough water in our bodies, meaning if we're dehydrated for any reason, dietary or spending a day out in the sun and having it deplete our water structure uh, or our water content, then it's going to impact the fascial system in such a way that we're going to feel stiff. So this is a structure that holds everything together. You want it to be functional, meaning I want to be able to stretch and move and do what I need to do without feeling limited by physical stiffness. So the stiffness that you feel in the body when you wake up or after exercise and then resting and getting up from your sofa or your chair, that stiffness where you just feel like you need to move and do something, that stiffness is because there's been a drying of the tissues. If you've sat down at your desk for two hours and then you get up and go to the washroom, that stiffness you're getting isn't necessarily your muscles shortening and shortening and shortening. That could be part of it. The problem really is the fascia that wraps around the muscle. And it's not a problem, it's just how we relate to it can be the problem. So it's really important to keep yourself really well, properly hydrated, to the right amount for you. Meaning, don't let yourself get dehydrated, don't overload the system as I talked about yesterday, but also have enough water that you keep the system healthy, that you keep it uh, replenished on a regular basis. So when we feed the fluid system the appropriate amount of fluid, it stays pliable, less stiff, more mobile, meaning you can move with more ease, you literally feel more flexible, you feel at more ease in the body. Flexible not meaning I can bend myself into a contorted shape. Flexible meaning I can bend down and put my shoes on. I can stand up from the desk and not feel like, ugh, I'm feeling all rigid. You can just get up, move, function, feel well, not have any residual effects from having sat down to do work for an hour or so. So this system is really important to keep hydrated. Make sure you're getting enough water in for you. And if you are spending time outside enjoying the glorious sun like we have today, then make sure you're taking in a little bit more. So the sun is very dehydrating. So fascia is thirsty. So when you're feeling thirsty, that's your fascia, the intelligence of the body telling you, time to feed me. So make sure you're getting enough water for your fascial system. Another way to get enough uh, therapeutic effect and promote the well-being of your fascia is of course through yin yoga. The whole premise of yin yoga is around uh, manifesting health and longevity to the, fa the fascial system. Long held floor poses, muscularly passive, meaning there's no contraction taking place. We're as still, steady, and comfortable as possible within that dynamic of feeling that intensity of stretch or resistance being applied to the fascial system. So hydration and yin yoga. If you want to know more about yin yoga, feel free to research it. Check out my website, enlightensatori.com. Go on teacher training page if you like, if you're interested in becoming a yin yoga teacher. I could talk about this for hours and we don't have time right now. So if it's something that interests you or intrigues you and you want to know more about, come and take part in some yin yoga classes. Maybe dive into exploring a yin yoga teacher training. We've got a few coming up. Would love to see you there. Have a wonderful sunny day everyone. Namaste.